Hi guys, it's your girl Queen Wonderful. Hey, I'm here. Um, I'm doing my usual Friday routine. I don't have class today, so um, I'm studying, and um, I've been catching up also on social media. I've been browsing people's videos on YouTube, and um, you know, just relaxing and doing my thing. Um, this is what I'm studying now. Can you see? Oh, you see it. My rented book. Microbiology. Um, I started class, <clears throat> excuse me, my new class last week. And, uh, I'm just going to give you my take on it. I actually like microbiology. Um, it's interesting because I thought that I wouldn't like it, you know, considering all we do, the primary, the primary part of our lab is actually looking into a microscope. And, uh, you know, I just thought that that would be kind of boring, but I find it very exciting that these, um, <clears throat> unseen, um, creatures or life form exist and um, you know they reproduce um, they uh, they eat and they drink and um, they uh, they also invade our bodies I also found it interesting that it's only a very small percent of um, microbes that are pathogens or disease-causing organisms and um, you know according to scientists they've been here you know way before we have so they know how to survive and um, they say that they will probably be here long after we're gone um, my teacher or professor, and they say that in college, professor, instructor, I feel very blessed in a sense so far <laughs> that I have her because um, she's a Haitian woman and she comes with a lot of knowledge. Um, she's also a registered nurse and um, she's uh, in school. She has her master's degree. And she's working on her doctorate degree in um, public health nurse. And so one of the things that she did for me was she eliminated the image of your typical nurse. And I, you know, I think that that is a blessing to a certain extent because of, um, you know, we always have that image of the... Um, the older granny nurse holding that bedpan and and there's nothing wrong with that if that's where your heart is and your passion is um, then all means go for it you know however um, I've always wanted something more nursing um, one of my goals is to become um, because as you know I was going to school to be as um, a psychologist. Now I want to be a registered nurse practitioner um, in psychology and I do, I would love to get my doctorate degree in um, uh, psychiatric nursing and nurse practitioner and you know nurses are scientists and I, I can remember being and uh, I know I'm all over the place as usual. Sorry, guys. I can remember being in um, middle school and elementary school, hating, as well as high school, hating science and mathematics. And though I don't really have a love for math yet, I am so much better in math than what I used to be. And... Um, you know, as far as science, I am loving science. I'm loving looking under the microscope. Um, 
I would say that in my last two classes, my anatomy and physiology class, we didn't really, we did some lab and some hands-on, but I can tell you we had our first two labs, our first real lab was um, yesterday, and we got to transfer the microorganisms and, you know, put them in different culture mediums. And I loved it, guys. I had so much fun doing it. And I felt like, wow, <laughs> you know, like I'm contributing to something just by learning. And um, I look forward to learning uh, from this woman. Though, um, like I said, she is Haitian. And she does bring a lot of knowledge. Um, and I like how she teaches. She teaches... Um, basically clinical microbiology we're learning um, more of the clinical aspects and she's getting us to think about why why is microbiology important um, to the human species and learning about it and you know tying it in tying it into medicine and various things so as you can see I'm really excited about the course um, it is a lot of work a lot of reading and um, you know, it's very new uh, to me as a licensed vocational nurse. You know, we learned about pathogens and different things like that, but not to this extent. And um, I'm starting to view nursing as a form of, um, of science. I really am because, um, you know, it's, it goes beyond the hands-on. That's important, too. But there is... There are a lot of um, subdomains of nursing. And, you know, the image of um, the bedpan nurse or the nurse, and like I said before, don't get offended because that's important as well. However, um, <clears throat> there are so many broad things you can do in nursing, and I do believe that it is starting to be recognized as, um, as a, f a scientific field you know, as well as being patient-centered, uh, because everything we do is to promote health and wellness and um, patient care and everything, but there are different domains of it, and so you don't necessarily have to be, you know, the nurse is taking care of a patient at the bedside. You can do research and, you know, help um, patients in so many different areas and domains and so um, I'm just really being excited about it as I am getting closer to my goals and everything and um, I just want to hurry up and finish too but I know me I'll probably be like even when I start working after I get my registered nurses license um, the goal is for me to start working and uh, continue on with my education because I do have a desire to go up higher and uh, you know my children are getting older and I can just I could see myself just really um, advancing in in my field another thing I want to talk to you guys about is that there are so many different um, resources out there for people going back to school. Uh, there is something called the STEM program that they're in, implementing in um, local um, community colleges as well as um, university. And STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. And I do, I, even though I'm going to a university, I do... Uh, take like some general ed classes at a local community college just so that um, you know to cut down the the cost of tuition and what have you and I was talking to a counselor there and uh, she told me that um, transferring into a baccalaureate program like at um, a state college or what have you which is a lot tr cheaper than the private institution I'm going to um, is a part of the STEM uh, program in nursing and so like I said um, the education requirements are getting more stricter but it's because nursing 
is now um, forming into a scientific field or they're going to start getting gaining recognition as being also um, a field of science okay I know it's 10 minutes um, I just wanted to come to you guys and tell you guys uh, about what's going on with me and how excited I am about being in this class and learning the stuff that I am learning and um, yeah <laughs> that's it so God bless you guys and I will talk to you later I'm gonna get back to studying now mm, hugs mm, in my mouth <laughs>